Welcome to the next session on delegation and decentralization of authority. I am Veena Jaykumar from Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. This topic comes under principles of management for semester 6 B Tech students. So we will be discussing about delegation and decentralization. Let us see what is delegation all about. Delegation of authority means that there is a division of authority and powers to the subordinates. It is also defined as subdivision and suballocation of powers to the subordinates in order to achieve effective results. So when we say that there is a delegation of authority, we mean that the subordinates in an organization are given authority and powers. This is done to ensure that the organization performs its task effectively and efficiently. The ultimate responsibility for task completion usually remains with the responsibility of the persons who delegate the authority to complete it. It means that you can always delegate the authority but the responsibility cannot be delegated. Delegation thus can be said as a one-way street, that is, superiors delegate authority to subordinates. Some of the importance of delegation are, through delegation a manager is able to divide the work and allocate it to the subordinates. This helps in reducing his or her workload so that he or she can work on important areas such as planning, business analysis, etc. Delegation of authority in a way gives enough room and space to the subordinates to develop their abilities and skills. Through delegating powers, the subordinates get a feeling of importance. Another importance of delegation is that there is job satisfaction. And delegation also helps in breaking the monotony of the subordinates so that they can be more creative and efficient. Through granting powers and getting the work done, the manager attains communication skills, supervision and guidance. Effective motivation and the leadership traits are developed. Therefore, it is only through delegation a manager can be tested on his traits. And delegation gives stability to a firm's working. This helps in both virtual as well as horizontal growth which is very important for a concern stability. Now, let us see what decentralization is. Decentralization is diffusion of authority or it is where the authority of decision making is given to the lower level management. According to Lewis A. Allen, decentralization refers to the systematic effort to delegate to the lowest levels all authority except that which can only be exercised at central points. Decentralization is dividing up the managerial work and assigning specific duties to the various executive skills. Some of the advantages of decentralization are it reduces the burden on the top executives. That is, decentralization relieves the top executives of the burden of performing various functions. Another advantage of decentralization is that it promotes motivation. Decentralization helps in improving the morale of employees as they get involved in decision making process. Decentralization helps in better control and supervision because through decentralization the subordinates at the lowest levels will have the authority to make independent decisions. Next, decentralization leads to quicker decision making of lower levels and decentralization also helps in executive development that is 
when the authority is decentralized, executives in the organization will get an opportunity to develop their talents by taking initiative which will also make them ready for managerial positions. Now let us see some of the disadvantages of decentralization. Decentralization leads to a problem of coordination that is uh, we may say that when decentralizing the authority it creates a problem of coordination because authority lies dispersed widely throughout the organization. Next disadvantage is that the uniform policies are not followed. We know that each manager has got different talent and so when each manager work and frame policies according to his talent, uniform policies may not be followed in an organization. Other disadvantage of decentralization is that more financial burden has to be incurred by the organization that is since employment of trained personnel is expected in order to accept the authority, it involves more financial burden. And another disadvantage of decentralization is that it requires qualified personnel. That is, decentralization becomes useless when there are no qualified and competent personnel. And last, Conflict is another disadvantage of decentralization. That is, decentralization puts more pressure on divisional heads to realize profits at any cost. This can lead to conflict among managers. In short, we may say that authority can be delegated and the work can be assigned to the lower level management. However, one thing to be noted is that only the authority remains delegated and not the responsibility. Thank you.